Hello world and welcome to a brand new Azure vlog. I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing fine. So before we get started with this uh, video, I would like to say thank you to all of you. Last week I got uh, rewarded with a Microsoft MVP award. So from that one, I can say that I am a Microsoft MVP. And without you as a viewer of all my videos, that would not have been uh, possible. So thank you so much uh, for your uh, support. Um, so the topic I would like to discuss today is managing Microsoft Sentinel at scale. Imagine you are a uh, uh, administrator of the Microsoft Sentinel workspaces in your enterprise company. It can be quite challenging, right? You have multiple regions with multiple workspaces and having all the analytic rules, etc., up to date, managing them can be a tough job. Another example is where you have multiple teams in your organization. Let's say you have a networking team that manage all the network detection and network security and has their own Sentinel workspace. And you have, let's say, a Microsoft 365 team, which manage all the Microsoft 365 detections and so forth. How can we manage that at scale and can we bring that together? Well, Microsoft has the answer. Nowadays, we have the Sentinel Workspace Manager. We can create a management workspace and from that management workspace, we can manage um, the, well, let's say, child workspaces. Before we dive into this, let's switch over to my desktop and view the Microsoft Docs. So if you go to uh, the Microsoft Docs and uh, there is uh, a thing called Managed Microsoft Sentinel and there is Managed Multiple Workspace. So what you see over here is a schematic overview on how you can manage your Sentinel workspaces. The most simple scenario is a simple and direct link. You have one management workspace from which you will manage multiple childs, so to say. Another option is to have a more complex hierarchy where you do co-management. So you have two central workspaces, two management workspaces, and all settings configured over here will be forwarded to the child uh, workspaces uh, below them. Another complex uh, hierarchy is, is called the N tier, as Microsoft uh, called it. And that's where you have a management workspace that manages a uh, other management workspace. And from there we have the child workspaces. So, and this way of management is actually pretty neat. We can manage content like our analytic rules, like some dashboards, etc., at the central workspace and publish them to the, uh, the child workspaces. Another cool thing is that this is not tenant bound. You can actually publish your content to, let's say, another tenant. You need to have Azure Lighthouse enabled for that. But when it's enabled, it's quite easy to manage your content in a central workspace and from there publish it to the, uh, the other workspaces. So that's a perfect scenario if you are a, uh, a managed uh, cyber security uh, provider and you have to manage workspaces on your customer side. Really cool. So let's go back to my desktop. Here we are and go to my uh, my Sentinel work uh, workspaces over here. So what I've done, um, I have created a management workspace. This is just a, a Sentinel workspace. There's nothing in there. We haven't configured it yet as a management workspace. We will do that in a minute. And I have my, my regular uh, Sentinel workspace, which you have seen a lot uh, in my demos and I've created a new Sentinel workspace. And this is where our network team is going to manage all their network detections. So the scenario that I would like to, to handle over here is we have a network team and we have a Microsoft 365 team that manage 
uh, the Sentinel workspace, uh, bound to the Microsoft 365 environment. We have a couple of analytic rules that need to be published to both of them. Uh, so we want to manage them in a central workspace. So we have to manage them once and we can publish all those content to um, the network workspace and the Microsoft 365 workspace. So let's switch back to the desktop. Let's go into our management workspace and let's configure this uh, workspace as a management workspace. If you go to Workspace Manager, you can see we can't do nothing over here. Everything is disabled. You need to go to Settings. Go to Settings over here. And here we have the Workspace Manager configuration. And we can say this is a central workspace. So now that's done, we can go to the workspace manager. So and this actually brings us to a bigger version of the page that you saw uh, earlier. If I click on add here, I can add my workspace. So let's add the regular workspace and the networking workspace. If we now click on add, they are added to this uh, central workspace. Let's create a group. A group is actually the entity where you can manage all things. So let's call this management group. Now I can add my, uh, my workspaces that I would like to have managed from this group. I can select uh, content. So here we have a, uh, a lot of default search, but let's say I want to have the advanced multi-stage attack uh, detection available on both the workspaces. If I click on add and now go to reveal and create, this will set up the, uh, the group for me. It's now done. If I go to groups over here, I can uh, select this one and say publish content and this actually will publish the multi-stage attack detection to both of my uh, child workspaces so the publishment has been uh, completed let's now have a look at the sentinel network go to the analytic rules and you'll see over here that the fusion rule is uh, enabled. If we go to our management workspace, let's set up a, uh, a scheduled query rule ourselves. Demo rule. This is just for demo purposes. This will be a quite a, a silly rule. Uh, let's say uh, Azure Activity Limit 100. Uh, all right. Let's go to Incident Settings. Let's leave this all by default. It's just about demonstrating how the central workspace uh, is working for you. We now go back to the Workspace Manager. We go to our group. We can... Uh, Go to actions and click on edit and we can select new content over here if i click on add content i can add my demo rule click on add over here click on review and update update so now the group has been uh, updated if i refresh it you'll see that there are two content items if i click on uh, on publish it will publish the uh, the content items uh, again to my uh, my workspaces. This can take uh, a minute, so it's, it's done already. If I now go to my networking workspace and I click on the analytic rules, you'll see that I have my demo rule over here. This is really really cool. So we now have 
uh, set up a analytic rule in our central workspace. We can manage it over there and we can publish updates to uh, the, the child workspaces, which are managed by the central workspace. Really cool and really helpful if you are working with a bigger environment. All right, so in the meantime, I have added some additional uh, items to my, uh, my workspace. I've added some, uh, some dashboards. Um, and let's now have a look on how we can add additional things other than uh, the analytic rules. So if we switch back to the desktop, we are at the management uh, Sentinel workspace over here. And if we go to uh, workbooks, we go to my workbooks, you see that I have uh, deployed two workbooks. Um, if I go to the workspace manager, I go to my group, I go to the management group that we created. I click on edit over here. If I go to select content, I can click on add. I can click on content over here. There is however also an option to click all content over here. When you click on this, automatically all the content that is part of this workspace will be added to this content group. So if I click on content, it is loading. You'll see that my uh, workbooks, my dashboards are displayed over here. There are also some saved search uh, items over here, which are in the, uh, the log analytic workspace. And I can also copy them over to, uh, uh, to the other workspace. So I manage them centrally over here. If I click on add, they are added to, uh, to this uh, uh, group. I can click on review and update and click on update. This will now publish the uh, the playbooks, etc., uh, to my other workspace. Or <laughs> it will publish them when I click on the button over here. So that's now uh, in progress. It will now publish all the items that we have configured in our group to uh, the, the child workspaces. Pretty, pretty neat. And as you get more items in your group, this process can take uh, longer, uh, as you see. So we now go to the network workspace and we go to workbooks. I go to my workbooks. They are over here. This is really, really cool. The beauty of this solution is that we can manage a lot of content centrally. There is also an opportunity to still manage your content in the child workspace. So let's say the networking workspace, we can configure our own analytic rules over there. We can configure our own uh, workbooks over there. Uh, that's still possible. So only the items that you have selected in the management group are uh, managed centrally. The other items that are in the uh, workspace created in the child workspace uh, are still usable and can be managed within that workspace. So if I go back to my desktop and we scroll down to this in this uh, uh, the documents page, we go uh, down over here. There are some known limitations. This um, this feature is still in uh, in preview, so it's probably not finished uh, fully. Microsoft is still uh, working on it. But there are some limitations. I don't know if that's because this is a preview or because it's designed that way. So if I switch back to my, uh, my desktop, um, an interesting uh, limitation I think is uh, deleting content, uh, resigning in member workspaces, centrally via workspace manager isn't supported. This is a important one that I think uh, you should uh, think of. Uh, so when we delete uh, a content item from our group, it will be deleted uh, from that group, but it will remain still in the member workspace. It's not managed centrally anymore, but the item is not 
deleted in that uh, that workspace. So be aware of uh, of that. With that, I hope you uh, you like this content. If so, hit the thumbs up button. Of course, subscribe uh, to this channel. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.